What is going on guys? Welcome to Greg Ols TV. In this video, I'm gonna go through the cool things that you can search for and what you can't search for with your Roku remote. So if you're new to Roku and you're coming from something like an Amazon Alexa or a, a Google device that you could search with a remote for certain things and do certain things on there, I'm gonna show you what you can and can't do with this remote. So let's jump into it. All right, so let's get to it. I'm gonna press and hold the microphone button on the Roku remote and we're gonna go through some things that you can do and not do with this. What's the score of the Red Sox game? No results found. Who's the president of the United States? What's the capital of California? So asking it smart things just doesn't work unfortunately. With this, let's go to some other stuff. Volume 20. Volume 30. Volume 10. So you see you can set specific volumes if you want with this just by pressing and holding the microphone. Open YouTube. If you want to open up specific apps, you can. Go home. Paramount Plus app. So when you don't have an app installed, I'll tell you right here if you want to install it or not in case like, so like I said, Paramount Plus app, it would have opened it if I had it, but otherwise I can install it just right there if I need to. Settings. So navigating into settings and things like that, you can't do, kind of stinks, HDMI 4. So you can switch inputs if you need to with this, if you have something specifically plugged into that input. What about if you're in a specific app, can you search within it with your voice? MKBHD. So you can search for certain people in here. Greggles TV. See if I can do this. I haven't tried this yet. <laughs> it's thinking way too long about that. I guess it doesn't know who I am, but Mr. Beast. There you go. Can find Mr. Beast easy that way. TV shows Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, I almost butchered his name. There you go. I'll show any TV shows with certain people. Jennifer Love Hewitt TV shows. Sylvester Stallone movies. Brad Pitt movies. Goonies. And you can search obviously specific movies. You can go in here and read whatever you want. Here's a bonus one I unfortunately left off. Power off. You can't get it to power back on unfortunately, so you have to use the power button. But regardless, it's really, really quick. So as you've seen, search is really, really quick with opening apps and searching for information. Show me movies scary. I didn't say that right, but <laughs> if you're looking for scary movies, again, it just, you can really pretty much search for any kind of content on here, which is great to be able to do and it works really quick. Unfortunately, you can't search for sports scores or just general information. You can't control your smart home with this. It, it, it just won't work, unfortunately. So that kind of stuff doesn't work, but navigating through this in terms of opening apps, installing apps, finding apps, finding movies, things like that, all of that stuff works really, really well with this and it's really, really fast. I would like them to see them add in certain settings in here. Obviously you can control the volume, you can switch your inputs, things like that. But unfortunately you can't really go into pretty much anything in this. I don't think, let me see if themes works in here, if I can go into themes. 
Go to themes. Let's see if themes opens up. That might open up because it's kind of, nah, it doesn't. But there you guys go. It's kind of cool stuff that you can at least control it with this. Um, I'd like to see them add the other stuff. Hopefully they will at some point in time. But if you have a Roku and I left something out that you think is really cool that you can do with searching with your voice, let me know in the comments down below and we'll see you guys down the road. Peace.